auto nesting within your DiamondSoft software. Please note this course is designed to be used only after completion of the LS1 or LS2 single part programming course. This course will discuss the creation of a nest job, adding parts to nesting, managing your materials, and generating code from the nest. Upon completion of this course, please proceed to the quiz portion and certification. We can begin our course by adding a new job. Within the job, you may add a part using the Add Part button. Please use the File Open dialog. Within this screen, you may add a single part and hit Open, or use the option to add multiple parts to your nest list. You may also remove any unwanted parts from your list using the Remove Part button. Within each part on the list, you'll see a thumbnail, as well as part property information such as machine and file location. Along the list, you also see the file location listed here, as well as machine data, material information, and the parts overall size. Fields such as quantity can be adjusted. In here we supply the quantity of parts to be nested as well as the rotate angle at which the part can be adjusted to fit more comfortably on the sheet. The bridge option is our part spacing information. Priority allows us to create parts that are more important and should be nested first. The filler option should only be used as the lowest priority part. Group information allows similar parts to be grouped along the same sheet. Once you've set your quantity information, you can copy these settings along to the other parts using the copy settings icon. This option may also be used to copy information from rotation, bridge gap, and priority. Priorities can also be set automatically according to part size, by descending order of largest part, or by the longest part using descending order of maximum extent. If these are the settings you would like to use as a default, you may use the Set as Default option, as well as the option to remove any zero quantity parts out of your part list. We may also add parts using the Assemblies option. We do this by creating a new assembly. We give our assembly a name as well as a description. We can then add parts and adjust their properties the same way we did in the Parts tab. Once we are complete, click Done. This adds a new assembly to our library. Clicking the Add Assembly to the job adds this assembly and we may supply a quantity of how many assemblies we wish to create. Going to the Parts tab, you'll note the quantity multiplied back in Assemblies. If we wish to remove an assembly from our job, we click Remove Assembly from Job. If we wish to edit quantity or bridge gap information, click Edit Assembly to open the assembly and adjust. 
or we may delete from the assembly library altogether. This completes this course for adding parts to our nesting job from the Parts and Assemblies tab. Please proceed to the next lesson for managing materials and your sheet database.